In class, I gave you a list of perfect squares and perfect cubes to help you simplify radicals. Let me show you how to create those lists on your own. If you're using the graphing calculator, you want to go to y equals, type x squared, and then go to the table, which is second graph. This gives you the list of perfect squares. You can scroll down if you need to. But we have 2 squared equals 4, 3 squared equals 9, 4 squared equals 16, etc. To get the list of perfect cubes, you can go back to y equals, type x cubed. To type the cubed, you can click the caret, which is the little arrow, and then 3. Then go back to the table, which is second graph. And this gives you your list of perfect cubes. If you prefer to use Desmos, you can type x squared. To get the table, you need to click on the gear icon and then the table, and it will give you a few perfect squares. To make the list longer, if you click on the last row and then click enter several times, that will give you your list of perfect squares. To get your list of perfect cubes, you do the same thing, except type x cubed. To do that, you click x, then the a to the b button, and then 3. Then click the gear icon, table. If you need a longer list, again, just click in the last row, and then click enter repeatedly, and that gives you your list of perfect cubes. My suggestion is that you generate the list of perfect squares and perfect cubes and write them down on your paper at the beginning of your test. That way they are right there if you need them during the test.